Should you apply for a permit to carry a handgun in New Jersey now or should you wait? Hi folks, I'm Steve from Martel Training Group and I've been asked this question a lot recently. Because of the U.S. Supreme Court decision, NYSERPA versus Bruin, New Jersey Attorney General has removed the justifiable need from the permitting process in New Jersey for applying for a permit to carry a handgun. This has prompted a lot of people to apply for permits to carry in New Jersey. But some people have said that they want to wait or that they think they should wait. And I'm going to talk about that today. And I'm going to list the four main reasons I think people are waiting and I'm going to break each one down and tell you what I think about each reason and why I think it's a bad idea to wait. The first reason people have told me that they want to wait or think they should wait is that there are so many applications. Some people have applied for permits to carry and it's been about three months or over three months and they still haven't heard anything from their police departments. The second reason people are not applying or waiting is because there's some ambiguity as far as the training requirements for qualifying with your handgun. There's some question about how many handguns can you actually have, can you qualify with to carry, how many can go on your actual permit to carry. The third reason is that some judges that are issuing permits to carry in New Jersey have put so many restrictions on the permits that it makes it virtually impossible to carry a handgun in most places in public. And the fourth reason is that the anti-gun politicians are drafting bills, some have already been drafted, to create sensitive areas, which we all know are gun-free zones, which would prevent you from carrying a firearm in one of these many sensitive areas. Before I break down each of these reasons, I'd like to tell you that, in my opinion, I think that if you qualify to own or possess a handgun in New Jersey or firearms in general. So in other words, if for example, you already have a firearms purchaser ID, maybe you already own firearms, and so you're qualified to have them, to possess them, and you wish to carry a handgun in public to protect yourself and your family, I think you should apply right now. I don't think you should wait. The first reason, there are so many applications that people are waiting over three months in some cases. While this is true, the police departments are getting overwhelmed with permit to carry applications. So in addition to their typical firearms applications to purchase handguns, some of them are overwhelmed, some of the smaller PDs especially. But in my opinion, this is no reason just because there's a delay, there's no reason to not apply. The second reason has to do with training requirement ambiguity. So some police departments and some counties in New Jersey have stopped issuing firearms related documents, permits to purchase, firearms purchaser ID cards, uh, permits to carry, while waiting for the New Jersey State Police to come up with an approved training curriculum. I don't think this is a reason not to apply because permits to carry have been issued in New Jersey for years for armored car employees, for armed security officers, and firearms instructors in New Jersey know the training requirements for these permits to carry and it's going to be the same for a civilian permit to carry so whether the new jersey state police comes up with a new training curriculum it doesn't really matter in my opinion currently the firearms instructor you go to a certified firearms instructor in new jersey at a range they will know what training requirements you need for a permit to carry in new jersey the third reason is that some judges issuing permits to carry in New Jersey have issued the permits to carry with so many restrictions that it makes it virtually impossible to carry in most places in public, including even some individuals were issued restrictions on carrying in their own vehicles. While this is true, I recently posted a video that permit to carry holders have been sent letters saying that these restrictions have been vacated or rescinded. So see my video, I'll put a link in the description about these recent rescinded or vacated restrictions. And the fourth and final reason that I think a lot of people have decided to wait or hold off on applying for permits to carry in New Jersey is that the anti-gun politicians in New Jersey have already started to introduce bills that create sensitive areas, what, we, what they call sensitive areas, which we know are gun-free zones. It's just another name for a gun-free zone. And they're trying to create all these places in public, 
you can't carry a firearm in. So if you wander into one of these sensitive areas and you're carrying a firearm, you're breaking the law. If this law is passed, if this bill is passed into law. Now I have posted a video and I'll put a link in the description about why I don't think that these, if this bill is signed into law, I don't think it's going to hold up to legal challenges in court. So that is not a reason, in my opinion, to hold off or not apply for a permit to carry in New Jersey. I think the more people that apply and the more people that are issued permits to carry in New Jersey, I think it will send a clear message to the anti-gun politicians that this is not just a small select group of people. There are a lot of people in New Jersey that want to exercise their Second Amendment right and want to carry a handgun in public to protect themselves and their family. Please see my other videos. I'll put a link at the end and also in the description if you haven't seen them already. And if you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.